Okay, some of you have questions about some of the knives that you see me carry on our videos. Uh, I've got lots and lots of knives. A lot of them I don't use and don't carry, but I thought I'd share just a few of the of my favorites with you. I think I've got five here. And the first one is a Mora, Mora Companion. And it's a really, really inexpensive knife. I think it's like 20 bucks, 22, 22 bucks, something like that. And it comes with a hard plastic sheath. I don't like their sheath, so I bought a sheath that fits it from several lines outfitters and it seems to fit it pretty well and it's a really good really well well made sheath so uh, I bought it just specifically to fit this knife and it does pretty good and this knife is a uh, it's not a full tang knife it's a rat tail tang the tang comes to about right here inside the handle uh, and it's a carbon bladed knife it's not stainless most all my knives are carbon. Uh, I generally like carbon knives better. They seem to be a little easier to sharpen and I just generally like them better. I do have one here though that is stainless and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the next knife is a is a Topps brand. I don't exactly remember the actual model that it's called but it's a little short almost a Puko style knife and it's also a carbon blade knife. I think it's 1095 carbon steel and it has uh, it's also full tang and it's a saber grind and it's a really really good knife because it sharpens easy and it stays sharp uh, and it's a small small short little little knife and I like it and I like to carry it because it's small it's not heavy on your belt uh, and this is the sheath that comes with it. It's a pretty nice leather sheath. It's not really, really heavy, but it's a, it's good enough. And I like it because it's light and it's small. Uh, and I carry it sometimes, especially like if I'm going to town or something, and you go in places that don't particularly like you to carry a knife, but they, if you got a shirt on, they really can't see that. Uh, so that's mainly why I carry it. And it's a it, it's a pretty well made knife. Let's see. The next one is a it's another Mora, and it is a Mora Garberg, and it's a it's a full tang knife. Very very strong knife. Uh, not the prettiest knife in the world. Actually, it's kind of ugly to me, but it really works well. It's really functional, and that's usually what I'm all about function over what it looks like anyway. Uh, it's a it's a little more expensive of a Mora. A lot of people when they think of Mora knives they think inexpensive and there's quite a few models that's in the range, price range of this one. Uh, you know you can get some Moras for ten, twelve, thirteen dollars. This one's closer to a hundred because it's full tang and has a molded handle and it comes with a Pretty nice leather sheath with a flap over top of it. So I guess that's what you're paying for. I think you can actually get this model in a plastic sheath a little bit cheaper. But I, I, I generally like leather for the most part. I like, I'd rather have a leather sheath now. I do have another one here that's not leather, but most of the time I'd rather have leather. It just seems more traditional and more old timey and that's generally what I like the most. This one is a Knives of Alaska. Uh, I think it's a Bush Camp is what it's called. And it's a fairly big knife, fairly big blade. But it's, uh, I think, D2 steel. And it's a, it's, it sharpens easily and it holds an edge a long time and it's kind of got a wider blade than, than I carry most of the time. But I've used it quite a bit and I seem to like it pretty well. I, I carry it quite often. Uh, and it came with a leather sheath that I didn't like a whole lot. So I ended up looking around on the internet and I think I found this sheath on eBay. 
and it's a Kydex sheath and it's made specifically for this knife so it, it locks in, snaps in pretty pretty securely. You can't, can't drop it out of it. You can actually hear it snap in. And it, it holds it really well. Uh, this suspension belt suspension system I put on the back of it, I made that myself just out of an old, an old used up belt that I didn't use anymore. Uh, I didn't like the one that it came with because it was like a hard plastic clip and I just didn't like it. It seemed kind of bulky and it's hard to get on and off and I didn't like the, the height that the knife rode on your belt. So I took this old belt and just made it to suit myself. It's kind of kind of ugly, but it gets the job done. And I don't like I say I don't really care about uh, what things look like as long as they work well. But it's it's overall it's a pretty good knife. I'm, I've used it quite a bit, and I like it. Now this next knife is a little bit. Uh, it's in a little bit different price range than the rest of these. This is a sort of a kind of a custom knife I think. I don't know exactly his process of how he makes knives but uh, this is a knife made by William Collins of WC Knives and he makes an absolutely fantastic knife. It's a very high quality very good feeling knife uh, and it's the one I was talking earlier that is not carbon it's actually a stainless steel and it also has a kind of a funny profile on the grind of the blade and I've never really been drawn to those until I had this knife. Uh, this knife is really really functional and it, and it sharpens fairly easily and it holds an edge a long time and it gets really really scary sharp. Uh, I've been really really impressed with this knife. This is probably this is one I've carried the most you know, in the last several months, and I've used it quite a bit. Um, it holds an edge really, really well. Um, and this little section of the blade where it kind of drops down is kind of like a little, kind of like a little sweet spot to where if you're doing any kind of carving or uh, whittling or cutting notches or whatever in sticks, it really that's the place that I like to do it because it just does it so well. It's like it's made for that. And this belly of this of the knife up under here would be more for skinning, I guess. I've not I've not had it long enough. Didn't have it in hunting season, so I've not tried it skinning any any game yet. But I will. Um, just overall, it's a very well made knife. He does really really nice work, and he's a good guy. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, I think William Collins is what it's called. So you can check him out, and uh, I really like his knives. He, he's, he's got some all kinds of different models of knives, but this is the one that I wanted. And a little bit hard to find, but I finally found, I think he has some distributors that carry his knives. Uh, they're, they're a little bit, I thought maybe two or three distributors that carries his knives, and they're kind of hard to find. Maybe we'll leave a link in the description of where you can find those. Um, and when I bought the knife, it didn't. It did not come with a sheath. It just came wrapped in a. It's in a box wrapped in plastic and tape. And I found this. This sheath that's made specifically for this knife. I think on uh, Stitch Gear Outfitters, and they're a handmade sheath, and it's actually made out of saddle leather, which is really, really high quality, really heavy, and it should last the rest of my life, I'm sure. Uh, just a really, really well made sheath and it has a, a suspension system on it to where you could wear it several different ways. You could wear it in the belt loop itself or you could put your belt through here if you wanted it to ride a little higher on your, on your belt. I think you can use these uh, leather strips here to carry it in a scout carry, you know, a horizontal carry position. Uh, it's just a multiple sheath that can carry multiple different ways, but it's really, really well made really heavy heavy leather and high quality stitching it's just a really really good knife and a good sheath uh, i've been impressed with this ever since i've had it I, this is all i've carried for the last few months uh, and i've really enjoyed it a whole lot
<clears throat> it also has a, uh, a, a loop on the side of it for a, a ferro rod. Um, I like to use a ferro rod quite a bit, and this is one, an old one that I had. And actually, it was about that long, and I cut the length off of it, and actually uh, added this little deer antler to the end of it, glued it on with, uh, uh, I think, Gorilla Glue. And then drilled a hole in it and added this little shock cord to it, just to be sure that it don't come out of, don't fall out of the sheath. I don't think it would anyway, but it, it certainly won't now, and it just goes in in the loop, the shock cord goes back over the end and there's no way that it can come out. Uh, so like I say, it's a, a very well made sheath and a very well made knife and I've really enjoyed this one. And all these knives, uh, I carry a knife, if I'm not at work, I carry a, knife, a belt knife everywhere I go. Um, they're very useful. Um, the way we live, of course, we use multiple times a day. I use a, a belt knife for something. It's just our, our lifestyle. Just uh, just kind of promotes the use of these things. Everything we do, from uh, cutting up meat to working in the garden, um, making bean poles, just whatever we do, I'm always always using the knife. Um, I don't carry, I, I would carry one every single day everywhere I went, but there's some places, you know, if you, some places you go in town that, that don't like you to carry them, so I don't. And like I say, I can't carry one at work because some of the, a lot of the buildings I go into are uh, government buildings, so they don't, they don't want you to wear them, so. Uh, but I always have this knife, always, without fail, everywhere I go. Uh, it's just a pocket knife, and I've, all, I've had a pocket knife in my pocket since I was five, six years old, probably. Um, and I've used, it's just as handy as these, and I've used this every single day, multiple times a day. Um, they're just a handy tool to have. Um, I think this one is, I think I got this the year my girls were born, 25, six years ago, whenever it was. Um, I bought three of these at the same time. And I still have two of them. This is one of those. And one I gave away as a Christmas present years ago. But it's a, it's just a case trapper with the yellow handles on it. It's a carbon, carbon steel knife. Uh, fantastically made knife. Uh, they make this also in a stainless, but like I say, I'm, for the most part, I like carbon bladed knives. They just work better for me. They're easier to sharpen and they hold an edge longer. Somehow, some of them do, some of them don't, but mostly just the ease of sharpening is why I like a, a carbon steel knife. You can sharpen them in, you know, in the field easier. You know, you can wet them on a piece of leather uh, on your boot or whatever and bring the edge back temporarily until you can get to where you can actually hone the knife again. But uh, I could not imagine not carrying a knife of some kind somewhere. It would be like not having any pants on if I couldn't wear a knife. Uh, it's just that, that useful a tool to me and I've always carried one and I think probably always will.